top of the morning to you, Curvis. Or top of the whatever time of day you're actually listening to this, I suppose. This is your host, Jemmy, with the Curve the Cube podcast. And I know that in 2017, one of my goals was to be more vocal about how I am curving my own cue because I think that it's important to share my own story toward a dream, right? And a big goal for 2017 of mine was to attend at least one podcasting conference this year. But podcasting conferences, I mean, there's travel, there's lodging, food, and all kinds of other expenses. And for me, I was thinking, okay, that's a pretty big, lofty, pie-in-the-sky kind of goal. But I was determined to make it happen this year. And... Thanks to Chris Kermitsos and the generous team at PodFast, I'm getting to do just that. They have sponsored my ticket, in case you have not heard yet, for PodFest, and I am gearing up. I am so excited. So, as some of you know, um, I'm located in South Florida, specifically in the Palm Beach County area. And PodFest this year is in almost my backyard, right in Orlando. I mean... The first podcast convention that I know of, of the year, to be happening so close to me, how could I miss it? So I'm so grateful to all the people at PodFest for helping make this happen. Yay! Um, So here's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to meeting Elsie Escobar and everyone else from Libsyn who will be attending. They are... Um, one of their primary sponsors, so I can't wait to finally get to meet all the people that I've been casually emailing and bothering with various questions over the last couple of years. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, and in particular, I'm looking forward to giving Jessica Kupferman a giant, awkward moment with a stranger, bear size hug. No explanations necessary. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm looking forward to it exactly, but I am fully anticipating being questioned by Libsyn as to why I don't yet have a mobile app for my podcast. Eek! Explanations ensuing. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to um, seeing Danny Pena of Gamer Tag Radio again. He is their keynote speaker, kicking off the whole entire podcast fun-filled event, and he is my last uh, Palm Beach Podcast Meetup Group special guest. So I got to meet him and have him do a presentation. Um, So I actually have a very quick clip from his talk to our group on the, what was it, on the 10th, I think. Um, Audio's not that great. Okay, the audio stinks, but (laughs) we were in the middle of a coffee shop. (laughs) Shout out to Coffee District in Delray. Um, always so busy, so it didn't really lend itself to recording, but I took advantage anyway. So the clip you're going to hear is this little clip of what I'm excited to hear more of from Danny and the rest of the speakers and presenters at PopFest. Um, so just a quick clip, and I'll see you on the other side. Please forgive me. Bad audio. <laughs> I got a uh, video camera for the first time. So I used to take it to school every day and we used to do uh, music videos. So the way I was editing back then, I was editing with two VCRs and a mixer. My cousin was a DJ. I grabbed the VCR, connected to the mixer, and I'll be recording. Pause, play, pause, play, yeah. pause, play. Painful. No software, no computer, strictly with that. Oh my Done. gosh. Yes, cross Oh my yeah. gosh. So how neat is Danny, huh? I mean, it's just a quick teaser. He's actually going to be a guest uh, in a future Curve the Cube episode, so we're going to really flesh out how he got where he is. And, of course, um, it's another great opportunity to listen to a guest who's made um, his own dream happen. So regardless of what your dreams are, you can always apply that mojo to your own situation. And that is the kind of energy and tenacity of the dreamers that I will be around at PodFest. I can't wait to soak up more of that kind of awesomeness, right? And bring back really great info to my Palm Beach Podcast Meetup group and everybody else that I'm helping with podcasting. Um, My friend Teresa, who is one of my most active members for my meetup group, Teresa Chambers, 
Um, she has a show called Business of Style, and she's amazing, and she's actually joining me also for PodFest. Oh my gosh, so it's going to be a little bit of a road trip. We're going to have bad snacks and fun convo in the car. <laughs> it's going to be a time. So I'm really excited that she's going to come up with me and help make sure I don't miss anything so I can bring back all kinds of wonderful stuff. Um, I'm also looking forward to one of our own other members from Palm Beach Podcasters, Carrie Lutz. He has his podcast is called the Financial Financial Survival Network. He's extremely successful and he's speaking about how to monetize podcasts and stuff. So I'm really excited to go see him again and um, listen to him. He has a new book out. So he's going to be, I'm sure, sharing tons of great info. And for me, I'm really like to improve my own self, right? I want to learn a lot about equipment, equipment, equipment. Um, you know, I, I'm a big believer in tweaking what you can, when you can. And so for me, you know, I've been focused the last couple of years of podcasting on tweaking my voice, tweaking my interviewing skills, tweaking my focus, tweaking my message. So now I'm at a stage where I need to tweak my equipment, make sure everything is really as great as it can be to bring you guys as great of a show as I can as I can bring you um so that's something I'm really really excited about checking out all all kinds of gear and just rubbing shoulders and elbows with people in the industry and in the know so I'm really excited to increase you know my own knowledge and create tons of fodder for future Flintstone Media blog posts and um meeting just greats in the industry and I hope to uh, take away from this podcast a lot of a lot of tips so I can refine this show, refine my voice, and refine my message even further. Um, let's see. I also want to... Some of you know I have my own podcast network that I've been getting off the ground called the Flintstone Media Podcast Network. Don't know how I came up with that name. <laughs> my company's called Flintstone Media. It's not that hard. Um, and so as I'm trying to get that off the ground... Uh, I hope to gain a lot more information at PodFest about how to better run my network, how to attract others to it, how to better serve my meetup group and meet other meetup group leaders who are there, like Chris Kravitzos himself. Um, so, you know, I, I guess my point is that when you're going for a dream, you have to look for every opportunity you can, and even if something seems like a pie-in-the-sky lofty goal, like going to not only a single PodFest convention this year and, and contributing to my own dream journey, but the very first one, all like right around the corner within a couple of weeks, how was I going to make it? But I, I did my research and I found a way to make it happen. And so that's what I encourage you guys to do. Look for every opportunity. You never know where they're going to hide. Um, and, you know, try to network and find other people who are doing what you like to do to encourage you so you can learn and soak up more great, exciting stuff. So, I'm excited to party and have fun with more people of my own kind. Podcasters, we're a crazy, crazy group. But what does it mean for you guys? Well, clearly, I always hope to bring you a bigger, better show. So I'm always improving, always, always, always improving. And I want to expand my ideas for giving you bonus goodies and tips that can help you on your own journey from being a dreamer to being a doer at whatever you're passionate about. So that is everything that I'm looking forward to, um, everything I'm excited about in going up for PodFest. I think this is going to be something that catapults my own dreams to the next level, both in vision and in practice and actuality. Um, and so as you guys are em you know, embarking on your own dreams, thinking about how can you improve and constantly take what you're doing to the next level or even just get started, my, what I want you guys to focus on is outlets. Look for others who are doing the same thing, who have the same dreams, whether they've done it before and they can be a mentor and help guide you, or if they're doing it now, do it now. And they want, they could be um, a side-by-side -side champion, a, an accountability um, partner, that type of thing. So, um, and look for big opportunities to meet lots of people at once. 
So networking opportunities. So find your own meetup groups, your own conventions, your own conferences, your own local community of artists, of musicians, of entrepreneurs, of fabric stuffed animal makers, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, find others who are like-minded and will be great at giving you constant energy and feeding your dreams and improving you and your skills. So I'm going to be recording lots of amazing audio at PodFest, fun stuff with other podcasters. Um, so some of you have dreams of being podcasters as well. So you're going to, in particular, gain a lot of information from however, whatever episode, future episode, I stitch all of that together in. And for those of you whose dreams are different from podcasting, you're just going to get an episode in the future that's full of energy of people doing what they love. And so hopefully in that way, it'll inspire you as well. On that note, I will say thank you so much for always listening. Guys, I can't tell you how appreciative I am for each and every single one of my listeners. Please, if you have any feedback, um, email me at curvethecube at gmail.com. Super simple. Or go to curvethecube com and just check it out or send me a message through the contact form there i love talking with you hit me up on social media and all the interwebs and that's it see you guys soon